Ravine lived up to its reputation as Croatia's premier tourist resort for the third round of the Red Bull Air Race World Championship. Outstanding views from land and sea, excellent visibility and a huge crowd to watch the drama unfold. Yet again, the wind had changed direction to demand the utmost from the pilots to keep their performances under control. The most anticipated head-to-head -head in the round of 14 was the duel between defending world champion Nigel Lamb and the championship's most improved performer, Matt Hall. And it didn't disappoint. Lamb flew the quickest time so far in the session to throw the pressure back on the Australian. And Hall failed to respond. He lost the heat by a tenth of a second and had to hope he'd progress as fastest loser. I knew it was going to be tough against Nigel and um, I I'm happy with how I flew it. I was surprised at the time I ran. It's probably the slowest time I've run all week. So we're currently uh, looking at what happened. Um, I was happy with the run apart from the centre chicane there. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens and fingers crossed I get another shot at it in about an hour's time. Pete McLeod raised the bar higher with an even quicker time, which Yoshi Maroya might have beaten if he hadn't hit a pylon. Nikola Ivanov then proved no match for Paul Bonham, who flew the fastest time of the session. That confirmed Hall as fastest loser to fly against the two-time champion in the round of eight. Having come so close to going out, Hall threw caution to the winds. His time was the best of the day. Bonham would need to fly faster than anyone else all week. Typically, the Briton was ahead of the clock, but his challenge collapsed when he exceeded the Gelo through gate seven, and he was classified and did not finish. That put Hall in the final four against Martin Schonker, Mike Goulian, and Hannes Arg, who had come through a thrilling duel against Nigel Lamb. The Briton flew his best lap of the week, but the Austrian somehow found an extra 14 hundredths of a second to win the heat. Schonker's opening time in the final four was one of his best of the week, but Ark was on a roll in every way and pipped him by just seven hundredths of a second. Mike Goulian's first final four appearance since 2009 had the makings of a triumph until, like Bonham, he exceeded the maximum G, so no time. That left the stage to Matt Hall to close out his first championship victory. But yet again, the chance slipped away by the merest margin, just 14 hundredths of a second. The winner in 2014 made it an emotional double in 2015. I think that's exactly what I needed after the first two races. So I'm really happy, especially uh, now in front of uh, 